I ask you guys at the beginning of every video to leave a comment and let me know which players you guys want to see me do a prospect spotlight on in the future. And there are a few names that come up very often. The player that I think has been requested the most of anyone is Georgia safety Javon Bullard. A player who has been an integral part of Georgia's elite secondary over the last couple of seasons, but how high will he actually end up going in the 2024 NFL Draft? That is what we will be talking about in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys would like to see me talk about in the next video. And without further ado, let's take a closer look at Javon Bullard. Bullard has been a big part of Georgia's defense over the past couple of seasons. In 2022, Bullard had 46 total tackles, 3.5 sacks, 2 interceptions, and 3 pass deflections on the year as the Bulldogs went on to win their second consecutive national title. He played a big part in the college football playoff in their win against Ohio State as he laid the hit on Marvin Harrison Jr., which led to him exiting the game early. His 2023 season was just as productive. He had 55 total tackles, 2 interceptions, and 5 pass deflections. After a strong combine and senior bowl, people are starting to hop on his hype train a little bit more. One of the best part of Bullard's games is the versatility that he offers on the defensive side of the football. He can play the high safety role, and I do think he does that pretty well, but he has the ability to play in the nickel, which is where I think he is at his best. Teams are going to love his championship pedigree, obviously, but the ability to move Bullard around and play him in multiple different spots is going to be something that's going to push him up draft boards. Bullard has really solid burst and speed, especially in man-to-man -man coverage. His 4-4-7 speed at the Combine was pretty solid, and he does a very good job in man coverage. He moves really well, and he does a great job at mirroring the wide receiver's routes. He's also pretty good in zone coverage. He plays with great anticipation, he reads the quarterback's eyes extremely well, and he closes quickly on the football, which are all things that I really like about Bullard. Bullard also does a good job at coming downhill to defend the run, and I do like that from him. He has the speed to come downhill, and he actually does a pretty solid job at disengaging with blockers as well, which are, you know, nice things to see from a safety. Bullard has some concerns as a prospect. Many people have questioned his recovery speed, but his 1.51 second 10 yard split gives me hope that he can improve on that at the NFL, and that's really not an area of his that I'm worried about. Another thing about Bullard that I'm not the biggest fan of is he is not the strongest tackler in the world. Now I know everyone is going to complain about this. He is a hard hitter, but I don't think he's a great tackler. He lacked play strength, and a lot of tackles were broken because he didn't do a good job of wrapping up, and I need to see that improve from him. When he does make hits, there may not be a harder hitter at the safety position in this class. He plays so aggressive, and he's always trying to take the player's head off, it seems. But, when he's actually forced to wrap up and make a tackle, he's a little inconsistent in those areas, so I would like to see that improve. Bullard also doesn't have the biggest frame in the world. He is 5'10", 197 pounds, and he isn't a very physical player. His size probably causes him to be a strictly nickel player at the next level, but I want to be very interested to see how NFL teams decide to use him. I feel like I'm a little bit lower on Bullard than the consensus seems to be. I think he is a good player, but his tackling, size, and closing speed are some areas that do concern me just a little bit, and those are all very important parts of the safety position. He is my number 7 safety in the draft class. I like some other guys just a bit more, and I have a few sleepers in this class that I think are a little bit better. He is still a good player though, and I think that he is going to be a valuable asset at the NFL level, and he is my number 91 player in the class. We discussed it earlier, but Bullard to me is going to be a nickel corner at the next level. His man-to-man -man abilities and his ability to match up with wide receivers in the way that he can makes him a very valuable nickel player. I think that's where he played his best ball at Georgia, I think that's where his game is going to translate best at the next level. 
coming up with a comparison for Bullard was extremely difficult. Ultimately, I landed on newly acquired Buffalo Bills safety Mike Edwards. Measurement wise, they are almost identical. They both have versatility to play in the slot and can play that high safety role as well. Edwards has been a starter on two Super Bowl teams now and has been a very solid rotational defender. He isn't a superstar by any means, but he is a very solid player. I think Bullard can be a similar but better type of player in terms of his versatility and skill set. Javon Bullard is a versatile defensive back. He can play in the slot, can play safety, and he has a lot of really solid instincts for the position. His experience and production is going to be a big selling point for teams, and ultimately, I believe Javon Bullard will be a top 100 pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.